In this tutorial, we show the basic use of WOW Frequency Equalizer. There are basically two ways you can go. The first, you start tweaking the sliders until you get a satisfactory result. The second, you start from one of the presets enclosed in WOW. The sliders correspond to five spatial frequency bands, as discussed in the previous tutorial. Left to right, the bands correspond to high frequencies, which become progressively lower. If you prefer, the tail is on the left, shape is on the right. The intermediate bands work on intermediate scales. Each slider can be either boosted or cut. A boost corresponds to an enhancement of a given band. A cut corresponds to a reduction. Sliders can be combined, of course, in whatever ratio. Also, notice the sixth slider. You may think of it as the intensity of the overall effect, a bit like capacity. 100% is maximum and the default, and 0 is minimum, corresponding to no effect. In general, when you choose a preset from the menu, the sliders will change their position and set themselves in a given configuration. You won't see any effect on the image, though. To apply the configuration, you need to click on the Run button. The On-Off switch allows you to check the effect against the original image, and the Reset button resets the slider configuration and the image as well, without the need to click on Run. You may prefer to have a live preview without the need to click on Run every time you change a preset or update a slider. That's possible. Just click on the Preferences icon and make Live Preview active. Click on Save. This is desirable unless you have a sluggish computer. WOW makes very difficult computations and it may take a while if you work on large images. In that case, my suggestion is that you leave Live Preview off. You can switch from a preset to another without the need to reset anything. The new setting will overwrite the other. It is a good idea to use a preset as a starting point for your own elaboration. The names of the presets are rather clear. If you find something that you like, you may either change its intensity in case it's a bit too intense, or move the sliders around to change the nature of the effect. A suggested workflow is this. Open the image, apply a preset you think suitable, examine the results, accept or tweak according to your taste. As for tweaking, remember, the leftmost slider controls detail and looks a bit like sharpening when boosted. The more you move towards the right, the more you apply something like hyralom sharpening, enhancement or taming of shape rather than detail. So, just experiment until you find what suits you. If you're interested in advanced techniques at this point, you may jump to the next tutorial.